Hey, the Wizard Apprentices. I got a great question from Tyler Swartz on one of the Lightning Experience videos. That's all about where the custom objects are. He's also wondering about look of fields. So let's go ahead and dive in and let's take a look at custom objects and look of fields in Lightning Experience. So here we are in the Lightning Experience homepage. Let's start by taking a look at a custom object. You'll notice it doesn't show up on the left hand side. So it's a little bit different right now than Salesforce One is on your phone. Uh, custom objects do not show up here. It's just some standard objects for Sales Cloud. To access your custom objects in Lightning Experience, at least right now, you have to go up to this nine little colored button in the upper right-hand corner. This is the App Launcher. So this is where all the apps that you grab from the App Exchange would show up and so forth. But there's this other similar color button called other items. And this is where our custom objects show up. So here I have a custom object I created for the wizard videos that I created here. And if we take a look, it looks pretty much like you would expect from other lightning experience. I don't have chatter turned on, so we don't have the collaboration sub tab, but we have related for related items. We have details and so forth. So let's take a look at how a lookup field has. So this particular record is actually uh, looked up to an account. If I click in here, it's gonna show a recent account that I looked at. So I have the wizard news here. There is no little magnifying glass. So if I wanted to go and attach this to a different account, I would need to type in and do a search here. So if here's Burlington and we can see Burlington textiles. So it does work a little bit like text ahead, um, or you can simply click the magnifying glass after you started the type. So it's a little bit different than how it works with the Aloha app. Another thing that's different than the Aloha app is this new account. So in Aloha, we had something that's called Quick Create. And the problem with Quick Create is when you created an account from a lookup field, that creation ignored validation rules for the most part because it didn't give you the full record to actually edit here if we hit new account it opens up an actual create account page the difference is this is acting like a quick create action so we have all the same issues that we would have normally including validation risk which is a good thing so it's not quite a pick list you do kind of get something that looks down um, like a pick list with the type of head. But if you have many similar matching accounts, like maybe you had Burlington textiles and Burlington manufacturing and so forth, I'm not quite sure how many is going to show up in this list. You may have to actually click the little magnifying glass and open up the separate search result, which is kind of interesting because sometimes I don't get the result that I expect based on what I see in the type of head. But let's just go ahead and put this to the wizard news because I'm not doing any actual videos for Burlington and we'll save. So there's a quick look at how custom objects can be found in lightning experience and how lookup fields perform in lightning experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember the magic is out there. It's yours for the taking. If you would like to see more lightning experience videos, please leave a comment and a like. Let me know what you want to see. If you have questions, if you want me to do a further deep dive into something. Also, if you have any other topics you would like to cover, please let me know. Thank you for watching.